If you can't move well because of some type of an injury or disease state, then this video is exactly for you. Hello, I'm Dr. James Bogash, publisher of Modern Health Myths, and today we're going to talk briefly about whole body vibration. Our office has had a whole body vibration platform uh, for probably over a decade now, and there are some things that worked really well for us, some things is more hype. But basically, it's a platform that you stand on, and it vibrates at certain frequencies. Our particular unit is a higher-end sonic unit, so it's, you're essentially standing on a giant speaker cone and vibrates at a variety of different frequencies. One of the things I've always said is that whole body vibration is a fantastic tool for those who are not able to move well. So post-stroke, uh, uh, post-fracture, or uh, um, post-fracture, fra poor fracture healing, uh, uh, people with ALS, uh, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease. I've had patients who have come in to use our unit for who have had Parkinson's disease and they come in and they use it for a couple weeks and then they disappear. Well, when we finally track them down, it turns out that they bought a home unit for use because they found such benefits for it. So um, whole body vibration allows your body to move in a scenario or a situation where you can't move as well. That means that whole body vibration platforms in gyms where people are otherwise very fit, uh, they're a lot more hype than they are reality. The benefits are going to be in the people who are able to move, to move the least. Which brings me to this particular study. In this study, uh, researchers looked at a group of seniors and uh, used whole body vibration for 16 weeks, so about four months, and a variety of different uh, measures they use, like stand, get up, and go, is a, is a really good marker for how agile or how functional somebody is. So there were a couple of markers that they looked at for doing this. So basically, people did either a simulated whole body vibration or they did whole body vibration 10 sets with knee flexion. Um, and they held that for one minute for each of the 10. So basically 10 minutes of exercise. They did this for 16 weeks and they found improvements in all of the markers or, or all of the exercises that they were using to show improvement. Those improvements lasted for up to a year or e even a year later they were improved. That's a huge change for something that's a very easy, very simple application with no real downsides. As a matter of fact, something like 89% of the people completed the study, which is a huge number for any type of study to have that many people complete it. It's usually because whole body vibration is an enjoyable experience. It is not a difficult one to do. But the idea of doing even a, a small squat, so we're not talking about a full muscle squat, we're just talking about just bending your knees a little bit, really greatly activates all the muscles, all the um, receptors around your joints, and helps with strength and coordination and balance. So uh, as always, I will post a link to this particular study in the comment section. And remember to like the video, share this with somebody who you think needs this information, and subscribe to the channel.